Hello everyone, I just want to note that the video that you are about to see, I recorded it several weeks ago. The channel that I featured is no longer available on the Roku Channel Store because it offered a lot of live TV content like CNN, VH1, MTV for free. And as you know, it is illegal for you to have these channels for free. Well, not as in for you, but as in for the creator. So I think the reason why they got in shutdown is because of that reason. Check out this video and I'll see you next time. Hello and welcome back to Roku and Now. Today we're going to be taking a look at this. I will consider an illegal channel. But here's the interesting thing about this. It slipped through the cracks and it's available on the Roku channel store. I'm correct at the moment. Is available on the Roku channel, so it slipped through the cracks apparently. So the channel is called Gay.TV. Like I said, it's illegal because it's providing all these services, all these cable networks for free, MSNBC, CNN, Fox, even some international channels I see, like um, RT. They even have like this NBC News channel. Um, yeah, all T stuff that, you know, these free channels that you are only supposed to get with cable. Now, here's the thing. Some channels work, some channels don't. So keep that in mind. Now, I'm quickly going to show you MSNBC News because I don't want to get no copyright lawsuit. I don't want to face with that. There it is, MSNBC, CNN. Let's see if that loads up. Yeah, CNN loads, it works. Fox. Yep, that works too. So yeah, you're getting free big cable networks, the cable news networks are getting on here. And yeah, they also have the weather channel on here too. Um, even VH1, you're getting some Viacom channels on here. We're going to take a look at that in just a moment. But first up, the weather channel. All right, that works. I'm not going to fully show everything because I'm not getting no copyright today. We already did that before. MTV works. Anyways, CBS News works on here as well. You got the ABC News channel. Actually, they don't. See, this is what I'm talking about. Some channels work, some channels don't. MT, um, MLB, they... Now, this is the first time I'm seeing this. They got the... MLB channel on here. Cool TV. That's a new channel. See, some channels, like I say, they work. Some channels don't. And so far, the two channels that don't work is the Cool TV and the, um, the ABC News, right? Yep, ABC News doesn't work. Alright. So, yeah. You got VX1 on here, too. Let me get to that. That works. Wait, NTV Canada? Oh, I think we got a Canadian channel working. A live stream of it. Um, they even, like I said, they have some NBC News channels. They got the local NBC News channel from current Connecticut. Basically, this is an illegal channel. Technically illegal because they are showing MTV VH1, the networks that you're supposed to get on cable or full streaming provider like the Hulu, well not Hulu but um, Philo got it for $20 a month um, here's another NBC channel but yeah, you basically get the idea um, now I've discovered this from Cold Cutters News when they talked about it in one of their articles was our link to it in the description below. They were temporarily deleted from the Roku channel, but they are back. They even updated their channel. Cause before they update to this version on here, they actually took the user interface from the Roku channel. Now, you know what the Roku channel looks like. It kind of looks similar, but um, you know, they have like the search menu 
and the about screen shows the Roku channel on it. I mean, if you had this before the update, you will understand what I'm talking about. But now they replace it with the regular Roku Direct Publishers channel user interface. So yeah, this is pretty interesting. We have an illegal channel on here. Well, if you want it, go get it. Like I said, it's for free right now. Get it before it's gone, before they slap the FBI thing on it. I mean, if you remember the XTV, the mass phenomenon channel that everybody grabbed from the private channel website, they slapped it with the FBI because, you know, of a lawsuit that they faced with the Roku in Mexico. So, yeah, that's Gadge TV. Like I said, get it before they slap the FBI label on it. Thanks for watching World Code Now, and we'll see you in the next one.